is more and more developing oh, no. as it gets older. Eddie, hey, don't interrupt me, buddy. Do you know better? All right, this is Eddie. Um, Edmontonia, sorry. Uh, he is of the ankle sort of baby, too. Um, really strong shoulders. I, mean, I call him a football player. He's got these little bony processes all over his shoulders, like shoulder plates. And, uh, well, he, ta he tackles. Yeah, but he tackles on Or he's trying to board again. Like, if I could actually get him to do it on command, I would make him work up to make him roadways. See, if you go through this right here, after that, make a little bit more roadway for me and clean it afterwards. He clears it. He clears it. Okay. Not gonna now, this black bird, this is Science Pals and Gals. So, parents, guardians, bird's name is Chitty Pooty. I will spell it if I have to. Anyway, but the uh, Chitty Pooty is from the, uh, is, well, he's related to the wheat horn bill, first off. This is the Cretaceous people? Yeah, okay. Uh, Cretaceous, and, okay, if, if you took him out of time and put him inside of a farm, what would uh what would it look like? Anybody? Rooster? Okay, that, that's actually accurate. Or ostrich, emu, anything like that? They run, they lay eggs, they forage, they squawk. That is actually, you know, titty booty. Now, but these little guys are troy dogs and should not even be out right now. They can't actually even see. Their sight is like the opposite side spectrum of us. They see at nighttime like we see light. Is opposite. So they're completely blind right now. They're running on old factory systems. Now these little green guys. <laughs> can you give me a number, please? However many there are around us, around anywhere, there might be more than that everywhere else. Just try to seek them out. Anyway, if you see one of these pumpy, by the way, uh, there'll be four more. If you see that many? Get in a tree. Get off the ground immediately. Why? You'll have about 20 chihuahua coming at your ankles at one time. <laughs> and I mean, they're swarming. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Dilophosaurus. <laughs> now, these guys were made popular. Thank you, certain movie about dinosaurs and how the moth got them. And um, they are true carnivores, question mark. Okay, we'll go back. Almost there. Okay, they're true carnivores. <laughs> You're ready to go. Um, now, these guys. Now, one thing that probably like, nobody knew about these guys is that mm -hmm. they actually can turn on a dime, like 90 degrees. Why are still running? Because of their tails. They actually do dig them into the ground in order for them to turn into a 90 degree turn. So it is kind of terrifying. So you can't zigzag your way out of the way. Now, according to that movie that I previously mentioned, they did smile like this. They did get red in the face as such. You know, they threw out their frills in defense or smile for uh, evil. Uh, did they spit acid? You sure? If you got facts, I'll, I'll gladly want to know. So according to science, they do not actually have poison or toxin, anything in their mandibles, so that is a movie myth. So that is a fact check thing. So that's science for you. Now, I am super happy to see these guys. I love seeing these guys. This is Junior, and uh, Junior loves playing fetch. Although he doesn't bring the stick back all the time, he's just chomped down into it. Um, oh, look close. a tiny one. Now, this genus of uh, Triceratops, they're in the same family, was found in 2000. Well, they weren't in the book that I read when I was growing up. Uh, these are Diabloceratops. Oh, 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 they believe in, they actually work on the, the adults, you know, basically rules are used Like, one father is a father for every child in, the, in any kind of, any kind of group. So, they all take responsibility. And this is Daddy Man's Pops out. Nice, good job. Margo, so our little Amargosaur. And it looks like my hatching did happen here, so we're going to take it a Okay, good. Alright, so my little mama Margo here is about, real quick blurb, they're about 30,000 pounds, roughly. Uh, let me go ahead and scooch up a little bit. Um, they're about, really about 30,000 pounds, um, full grown. Um, they are herbivores, definitively, and they are actually cuddle guys. They'll come in and sleep where I'm sleeping and be like, hey, you sleeping here? 
Oh, Mommy, oh, she's, it's okay, she's taking a bow for me. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, hold on, hold on. Come here. All right, let me get her attention. In fact, I want to check in on the kids while I'm here. All right, hold on to what you got. Hold on to what you got. Hi. She knows me. She knows me. Whoa. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. She knows she knows me. Alright, come on, come on. Eyes are on me. There are six kiddos. Okay, good. I wanna make sure they're all here. Uh she runs about forty five miles per hour. So and if you had to worry about her, you just you run and zigzag. Okay. She actually weighs about six and a half tons. That's fifteen thousand pounds. Now uh <laughs> So she's not the most wheelie of creatures, so she can't have a problem. Now, we took a mold of her teeth coming down onto like this big old bar of like, uh, it's a hunk of, I think it was titanium. Anyway, uh, she bent down, it's been measured about 120 to 130,000 pounds of pressure. So, I mean, what's not to say about her? But she's not a true carnivore, right? But we know her to be like in you know, the queens of the jungle. But you see that her kids have just come out of her emerged from this mud pile. Now, she actually packs them in there because that weight coming down on a nest will crush her kids. So she incubates that big mud pile versus actually sitting on it. Uh, those kiddos are hungry. Uh, hence the reason why I'm getting out of here. Um, I want to figure out why that is. Figure out why that is. So, um, all right, anytime I, anytime I see this guy, I know there's something wrong. So this is a Deinonychus, or I'm sorry, Deinonychus, Deinonychus, yeah, okay. Um, oh, they've got feathers all over their body. They're more bird than they are raptor. Okay, but whenever we see one, usually there's a second one around. Okay, I've got to look. I'm sorry, I apologize. Hang on. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, okay, actually, she's still moving. I want to help her out. Okay, so... Okay, so Rex went hunting. She didn't finish the job for her kids, but she had to defend against those guys. So let me try to go back and help her. Hi, guys. Mind if I butt in here? Okay, I apologize for saying that already. Um, yeah, good job. Mackie Cephalosaurus. All seven syllables. Now, these are uh, these are the teenage ones. These guys butt heads about everything. And that's actually human nature. That's actually their nature. Okay. Uh, their heads are about... I want to go see about 10 inches thick at this point. Now they butt heads for two reasons. One, uh, who's the alpha? Basically, like, you know, and to get stronger. Um, secondly, who gets the last slice of pizza? All right, uh, I see our future in front of us. Hold on to what we got here, guys. Okay, hold on. Oh!